Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on Apache Maven. In today's session, we are going to cover uh, how to create a simple Selenium project using Maven. Please subscribe, like, share, comment the videos on this channel. If you have any training inquiries, please contact me at techtrainerraj at gmail.com. Okay, so let us flip over to Eclipse. Okay, in the last session, we have seen how to create a simple Maven project using Quick Start Architect. In today's session, what we are going to create is we are not going to use Quick Start Architect. Instead, we are going to create a, a blank Maven project. To do that, you have to go to File, Select New. Uh, click on project select maven project okay so here you need to click on this create simple project skip architect selection okay click on next okay again you need to provide the group id please watch the video introduction to maven before continuing with this video Okay, in that video, I have explained what is group ID, what is artifact ID, and what is version number. Okay, so here I'm going to provide group ID as com dot raj tag trainer, and then the artifact ID is uh, simple selling map. Click on finish. So in this it has not even created any class file so it is an empty project okay but it has got all the folder structure so like source main java source test java and resources test resources as well as main resources in this you can i can have xml files or you can store uh, your uh, configuration files okay and there is a pom.xml which is project object model xml file okay so let us click on pom.xml file so as you can see if you go to pom.xml file there is nothing inside this file except you have group id artifact id and the version so this is also famously called as GAV. Okay, so whenever you use Maven project, Maven contains these three elements, which is GAV. GAV stands for, G stands for group ID, and A stands for artifact ID and V stands for the version. So GAV is the short form of these three. Okay, so now I don't have any dependencies here. The first dependency, since it is a Selenium Maven project, I need to add the dependency. To add the dependency, first I need to add dependencies tag. So Add the dependencies tag. Okay, so inside this dependency, I need to add the dependency. Okay, to add the dependencies, there is a central Maven repository. So you type in mvn repository. Okay, the the URL is https mvn repository dot com and then you can search for selenium java select selenium java and select the version number which you are interested in so i'm going to select 3.14 and copy this and then add it to add it under dependencies Okay, so we have added one dependency here. 
which is selenium java so let us save this as soon as we save this so it is downloading that particular version of jar files and then added it here so you can see that there is a all the selenium related jar files okay so one more thing which we didn't talk about in the in the last video is a transitive dependencies apart from selenium uh, there are other jar files which are downloaded here how do we find out what is transitive dependency you know for this particular selenium java so press control and then hover over to your uh, uh, dependency select that okay and then go to that palm file from this palm file you can see all the other dependencies okay that's a linear java whatever the dependency which we have downloaded that again depends on these dependencies or these jars for example selenium api selenium chrome driver selenium edge driver selenium firefox driver these are all transitive dependencies let us add one more uh, class file here let us add a new class file here right click on source main java new class okay, i'm going to call it a simple test call it as simple test okay i'm going to add main method into this one okay since i'm not using test ng so i have added main for the videos related to test ng please watch the videos which i posted on my channel let us add a simple test case to click on a particular a link okay for example what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to google.co.in and then click on gmail link i'm going to add a driver object driver driver is equal to new of i'm going to use chrome driver chrome driver driver dot get so the url will be google dot for and then so before this i need to set the property system dot set property here web driver dot chrome dot driver and the path of the chrome driver executable which is d colon slash slash uh, chrome driver dot exe so this is the path of that web driver set the path of web driver create an object of web driver get the url and then click on the link click on gmail link to click on gmail link what i need to do is driver dot find element by dot and a link text the link text is gmail dot click uh, sleep for 400 milliseconds and then i'm going to close the driver so this is a simple test i'm going to throw this okay. 
say this okay so uh, to run this let us right click on this particular class file run as java application it has opened up the browser and it is clicking on gmail so it has clicked on gmail and it closes the the browser okay uh, to sum up uh, what i did was i created a, an empty maven project and inside the palm file i have created a dependency or i added a dependency for selenium and then i created a simple class here under source main java called simple test java and inside this i am trying to click on gmail link by going to google.co.in website okay so this is a simple test here i have made i have uh, used only uh, source main java i have not used source main resources or source test java or source test resources if you are using if you are using test ng then you can make use of this source main java to have all the class files related to a particular a functionality and under test you you can have all the classes related to the test cases for these uh, source code which are located in source main java so this is how we can create a simple test case or simple project using maven okay let me add another dependency here to add another dependency we have to go to again maven repository and search for test ng dependency okay so search for test ng and it will be getting so under test ng i'm going to use this version 6.14.3 and then i can add this to my project okay Now what I can do is I am going to convert this simple test into a method. Okay, public word click Gmail. Okay, I am going to take out this main here. And now this will become this will become a method now instead of main method i have converted this into a simple method called click gmail okay so i'm going to add another test class here under test which i'm going to call it as test simple test class Okay, so I'm going to finish this. So inside this class, I'm going to have a method called Okay. So here I'm going to have annotation called at a test. So I'm going to have a method here, which is public void test gmail a link. Okay, so 
test engine notation should be imported um, okay now after importing this i'm going to create an object of that simple test class simple test object is equal to name of simple test okay obj sim dot click gmail okay so since this is also going to catch the exception so i'm going to add throws okay so now what i did was i added another dependency here for test ng and i converted this simple test uh, which had main into a, a simple method called click gmail okay rest of the things i left it as it is the only thing is i have removed main and just added a new method called click gmail and i have added another class under source test java called test simple test class okay and inside that i have added one test case to test this gmail link okay i have added annotation test annotation here and i've created a new object of this simple test and then call that method so this is going to test that g click gmail a link okay to run this what i need to do is earlier i had run from here now i have to run from here okay i run as test ng test okay so far we have seen you know how to create a simple maven project without using any rg type and then how to add dependencies into on maximal file and we have also created a, a simple selenium test case with main method and later on we converted that test case into a test ng test okay for that we have added another class under source test java and we call this class which in turn I ran the test which is located inside the simple test in this test case we used both maven test ng as well as selenium okay since i have not provided any package here by default it has created a default package so whenever you create a class you should be providing a proper uh, package name you make sure that you create a package first and then the class okay that is the end of this session please stand by for more useful videos on this channel thanks for watching